Today we're going to be installing a wind restrictor in my 2023 C8 Corvette. This episode of the Corvette channel is brought to you by Wind Restrictor, makers of the ultimate accessory for your Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing a wind restrictor in my 2023 C8 Corvette. Now I've done one of these installs before and we did it just with the cigarette lighter which is included when you get the, the uh, a lighted kit. Um, this one happens to be a multicolor kit and then I elected to go ahead and get the battery option. Okay, so um, when you do that, you are getting a, you get the little pigtail that comes with the battery and you can choose to go ahead and connect your pigtail to the end of the wind restrictor and then you would just run it off the battery. And if you want to do that, that's great. Or you can run, if, or if you choose not to do the battery, you can just run it right off of the cigarette lighter that is included. But what I'm going to show you today is how you can have the best of both worlds. Um, you'll be able to leave the cigarette lighter uh, plugged in and that way you have power all the time whenever you want to use it when you're just driving around. Then you also have, by the change of just a plug, you can run off of the battery that we're going to mount behind the passenger seat and this way when you go to a car show you'll be able to run it and you're not draining your car battery and this that little battery gets you somewhere between depending on the use between 10 and 14 hours of use off of this this restrictor so um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put the camera here a little closer so you can see what I'm doing and how I'm wiring this stuff up and then we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the car and we'll show you how it's all done Okay, here's the cigarette lighter plug, which is included in the kit. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to go over here to the other end. And I have already got these wires ready to go. And they are marked when you get them. One, the, the one that's got the red tape on it, obviously, is power, uh, the positive power, and then you've got your negative. Now, um, you could choose to use regular butt connectors if you want, but I want to show you how to use these um, the heat activated solder connectors that are included in the kit so what you do basically how this works is you're gonna you're going to um, so we'll go ahead and start with the negative side we're gonna slide that through like so okay so we get it all the way to the other side you can see right there that it's sticking out then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna go to the the connector here that I told you we need to you need to buy okay and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to have a cigarette lighter connection right here and your so and your plug-in socket and then what will happen is that this socket here this female will be your car and the same socket in the battery will be your battery then what we're gonna do is we'll take the little pigtail that is included in the battery right and we're gonna plug it into either the um, either this here or we'll plug it into the battery itself okay so it makes it a very quick quick disconnect so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I've just stripped up, stripped back these wires here so I'm just gonna take the black to black it's like so and I'm gonna twist them like that okay and I should have actually twisted it more like this. So let's do this. So we're just twisting them around itself, creating it as a long continuous wire just like that. Okay. Then what you do is you're going to slide this through and you're going to bring it right to the middle. Right where the, you can see here where the solder is, you can see it right there in the middle. Okay. Then what you can do is you take a, you can take a, a lighter or you can take a heat gun and you can go ahead and you can turn your heat gun on if I can get that to go here and we're just going to heat it up and you want to be careful not to get your fingers 
but this this shrink wrap will start to shrink here in just a second and it will melt that solder in there Let's run it back and forth. You'll see it's starting to shrink here in a minute. There we go, it's starting now. And you can use a lighter or hair dryer even, but you can see right there it's starting to work right now. Okay. And then we're going to shut it off. We'll set this off to the side and we've got a good connection now. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here. Okay, so I'm just kind of twisting it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this around and get this little guy over here. Just pulling it through just like so. And now we're going to go ahead and take this red tape off so we don't get that screwed up. Now we can go ahead and we can twist these around. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll push these through to the middle, just like that. And then we'll go ahead. And if I get the gun to do it the right thing here. There we go. We'll just heat these up. Just about done now. Okay. And we'll shut that off and it's got to cool itself down. There we go. So now we've got this done, right? This is all completely connected, right? And so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some black tape. Sorry for the uh, noise from the machine, but it's cooling itself back down. So we're just gonna take this, and we're gonna take this. So it just looks a little bit better, makes it a little bit stronger. Okay, we're almost done here. some scissors here, trim it up. All right, so now we have, we have our cigarette lighter connector, which is right here, and then we have our female right here, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on. We're gonna set this over here in the car, so when we need that, we'll have it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the exact same thing over here on the wind restrictor itself. Okay, we've just got a black and a red wire here as well as we've got our black and red right here. So like I said, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. Now, we should be able to go ahead and plug this in and turn it on. We should have lights, and we do. You can see that right there. Okay, so we know the wind restrictor works. So our next step is to go ahead and put it in the car. Okay, guys, so really the hardest part of this really is to get this cap off. Now, if you have not ever taken this cap off on your car, this might give you uh, a little anxiety, I guess, sometimes. Uh, I've pulled them off, they come right off. I've pulled them off and they, they like stay on for dear life. 
there's a bunch of clips here that go all the way around. And so we're just gonna try to lift this up and see if it comes off. And it like this one's just coming right off. Now, that's good for me. But sometimes you'll have to pry these out. So there we go. But you can see right here that you've just got these clips that are holding it in place. So, okay, so now that that is out of the way, I'm gonna put this over here. Now what we can do is we can actually go grab the wind restrictor. Before we put this in here, if you've had your car for a while or your back window is dirty, uh, my car is only a few days old, so I'm not worried about cleaning the back glass. It's nice and clean, but that was the time that you would want to clean your glass and obviously you can use Windex on your back glass. So let me talk about Wind Restrictor just a little bit here guys. Wind Restrictor is a US based company out of Dallas, Texas. All of their operation is there in Texas. They build everything in Texas. Everything is done there and they offer a lifetime warranty on their product. So about the only thing besides misabuse that they are not going to cover is if you use Windex on the windscreen itself and then because it, Windex actually is abrasive and it will, you, it will actually leave micro scratches in it so then it ends up fogging it up and then it'll start looking terrible and then of course you're going to want to replace it. That they will not cover. But you cannot use Windex on the wind restrictor itself. And they send you a sample. Uh, of some cleaner, it's called Brilliant Eyes. And this will, this is what you use to clean the wind restrictor. So you wanna make darn sure that your glass is clean here, and then you at least clean the part that's gonna go up against the glass before you install it. You can always do the, you know, clean it on the inside afterward, but you wanna make sure that you have that, okay? So now um, we've got it clean. I've got my gloves on here, so I'm not leaving any fingerprints, okay? And we've got our cover off. So now I'm gonna sneak in here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put this up here like so. Okay, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna take the wind restrictor, we're gonna set it here in the bottom, get it centered, okay? And it'll center itself, but you wanna try to get it as close as possible. You're gonna get it up against the glass here in the back, and then you're gonna start to push. Just gonna push it all the way in and it's gonna lock itself in. And you'll hear it. Just like so. Just like that. So now that we've got it in there, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to route this. And we're gonna route it right through this trim piece right here. Alright, so then at that point, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our cover. we'll be able to put it back on here. All right, guys, we just took our extra wire. We uh, zip tied it up. We just put it underneath the carpet here. We've got our two wires, right? We've got these two. If we are not utilizing the battery, then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect these two. That will just be on the car power all the time, okay? If we're using the battery, if say we're at a car show, we disconnect that, we plug that into the battery, we flip the switch, and we're good to go, okay? So literally that's all there is to it. So it comes with Velcro. We're just gonna go ahead and take these little pads off and we can just go ahead and we can just Velcro it right to the carpet, okay? We're good to go. So when you're at a car show, you got that and you can just leave it off. You can leave that in there when you're done. Plug this right back in here and you're good to go to be able to run it every day just like normal. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test it now. We're just gonna start the car. The wind restrictor should come right on. And there we go. All right, guys, let me show you this remote really quick. It's, it's very small, very simple, and I really do like how it operates. You just have an on and off right here, and you have different modes and different colors that you can pick from and you can change the speed on what it does. So if I wanna change change the color, for instance, I can just hit the color button and it'll change it around. I can also hit the mode button and it'll do different things, like whether it's flashing or flashing really fast or really slow, 
There's lots of little things you can do with it. But the one thing I do like really a lot about it is that you can put it in demo mode and it starts doing all the different things that the unit is capable of doing so you don't have to keep digging and trying to find out what you want. So if you're at a car show, that's one of the best modes you can do because it will change things up constantly. So it's very, very simple to operate and um, you, know, you, you really can't beat it. So it doesn't really matter what color car you have, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that looks good with your car. All right, guys, that was about as simple as installs it's gonna get. I've done a lot of them from C4 all the way up now to the C C8. And um, this one seems to be probably the most simple installation there is. So if you're looking to be able to get one of these for yourself, be sure and check out windrestrictor.com. Go there and be sure and use the code Corvette channel to be able to get your discount on being able to get one of these for yourself. Um, Again, don't forget if you are going to be doing the battery option, you want to make sure that you tell them that you need the extra cable to be able to connect it up. And that would be the female side cable. Okay. So guys, I just want to thank you guys all for watching today. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll talk to you later. Thank you. We'd like to thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.